stop your fight. We feel as though this is more of a hate crime than it is a risk of injury to a young kid. This video in Deep River last Monday shows 48-year-old Jamison Chapman pushing 11-year-old Daniel Duncan off his bike, injuring the sixth grader. Activists for the black community call it harassment. Reverend Dr. Boise Kimber alongside Duncan's mom Wednesday saying this would be a different situation if he was white. We are in Deep River, Connecticut, and there are not many of us. Chapman faces assault charges, but does not face any hate or bias charges at the moment. They believe he should. Why did he have to single out this one biracial black individual? Desiree Dominique says her son is still traumatized, and she's concerned there are people in Deep River sticking up for Chapman. We have to stay present, and we have to stay diligent and awake. They would like town leaders and school officials to sit down with the family to discuss what happened and what can change to prevent it. This family is in danger in this community. The town's first selectman says they're planning public forums and workshops here at Town Hall to address this issue. But the activists say those meetings are no good if there's not African Americans at the table to share their perspective. We certainly want to have minority representation in the room. Angus McDonald is the town's first selectman and says all voices should be part of the discussion. He says they welcome outside input who can advise them on the best way to continue. I want this to be a dialogue. This is the beginning of a conversation that should, should be happening all the time. Activists say this type of incident should not happen to anyone and that engagement will help defeat hate. In Deep River, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.